I had a feeling this was going to happen. I show you the Polestar O2 concept. I made a video about that a while back. And I said then that I think this will go into production. And that's exactly what it's going to do. Because the Polestar 1 is going out of production and something has to replace it. And I'm really happy that Polestar decided to put this beauty into production. What we're going to do in this video, talk about the spec and tech, what we know so far. And also talk a little bit more about this design. Revisit this, the design from front, side and rear. Unless you don't I think about it so it will be called the Polestar 6 when it goes into production listen to these numbers here it will have dual motors one in the front and one in the rear all-wheel drive obviously and it's said to produce a from a sensible Swedish standpoint unheard of 884 horsepower and 663 pound feet of torque which is the same brutal powertrain we'll see in the upcoming uh, Polestar 5 the performance GT 0 to 60 is said to be around 3.1 seconds with a top speed of 155 miles per hour which I think has to be limited when you have over close to 900 horsepower I think the, they put a limiter on this thing now if you want your Polestar 6 in this specific spec that we see right here as a concept you're gonna have to act fast because they're only building 500 of this special launch edition called the LA concept and this gives you this gorgeous sky blue paint and light leather interior with the same 21 inch wheels that we see on the concept and I'm really I'm a fan of the design of these wheels even though they look a bit EV ish they still look pretty good it's unclear if it comes with the drone but I think my guess is that they're probably gonna skip that option. There's no info on pricing yet, however more details are set to be unveiled at the Monterey Car Week which takes place this week. Now let's talk about this design here and this beauty of a machine and why I think Polestar is doing the right thing when it comes to their production vehicles. They release a concept that looks very close to what the production version is going to look like. That's the benefit with EVs. You can play around with the design more and you don't have to do a lot of changes to turn it into a production vehicle. Same thing with the Polestar Precept down here. This is actually almost exactly what the new Polestar 5 is going to look like and as I said this will have the same close to 900 horsepower power powertrain when it goes into production. At least one version of the uh, Polestar 5. But look at this gorgeous chamfer that I talked about in the previous video. I love this piece right here it's not just one line that is sharp in the in the hood we have a chamfer so two parallel lines going here and I think it creates a very unique looking shoulder line sharp line in combination with this gorgeous soft subtle surfacing right here I do wish that we had the same uh, integrated wing that we have in the Precept or the Polestar 5 down here. You can't really see it on this white but there is a wing here so the air intake is down here and then it, the air goes in here and then shoots up here creating this uh, probably some downforce in the front end pushing the front end uh, to the ground. I think this is a cool concept that I would love to see implemented in the uh, the O2 concept or the Polestar 6 as well. But this creates a cleaner front end that we have in the Precept. It's also more playful I think and I think that's the right way to go. When you have a small roadster the, the Precept is more grown up and the, the uh, O2 concept or the Polestar 6 is more of a fun toy. I think you can play around more with the graphics and the uh, the design overall when you have this format of a car. And I think they, that's exactly what they do specifically with these graphics here. Super clean identity for Polestar at the moment. I think they're doing a great job and nailing their identity from uh, both in daytime and night. There is no mistake in anything else but a Polestar when you see these lights. Looking at it from the side, this is the side profile that I think is just nailing the proportions of this car. And I made the uh, comparison to the Lancia Stratos down here in my previous video. And just look at how similar these two are. I think it's a fantastic, almost like a modernization of the Lancia Stratos in a very Scandinavian way. We do have a lot of emotion in here, but they managed to combine the emotions with some product design feeling in this design. I think that's what Swedish design do best. Volvo and Polestar combining emotions but at the same time looking very product designy and it's a very hard thing to do and I think they nail it with the uh, the Polestar 6 here as you can see I love this 
upswing that we have right here looks beautiful both with the with the roof up and the roof down and that's also another thing that's really hard to do making a car that looks great with the top down and with the top up we almost have a nissan gtr roof line right here with this sharp angle and almost a visor design as you can see wrapping around here kind of exact style a little bit maybe not as rounded but still more of a gtr style looking at it from the rear very similar to the uh, polestar precept or the polestar 5 down here you can see that we still have different designs in the rear end but they look a lot more similar in the rear than they do in the front the graphic taillight here for example almost exactly a copy of what the polestar 5 will look like and i think that's a good idea to have a very strong graphic identity for what polestar is moving forward i've said that before i think moving forward i want to see more evs like this we also have hyundai of course going nuts with their <laughs> ev concept something that i also hope to see in production i think by the feedback that hyundai got from uh, releasing their concepts the two recent ones i think those are actually going to go into production because they simply can't cannot put those into production what what i love about these designs evs is they they don't look like evs they look like super sporty concept cars that are now being turning into production and that means that not every single EV needs to look like a bean. There's no reason for it. You might lose five miles in range or something like that. But I think it's worth it to not only work with the graphics to create a strong identity for the brand, but also in the overall shape and the surfacing of the car. And that's what I think Polestar is doing fantastically, a great job doing that, and also Hyundai at the moment. And I think Kia is about to launch a couple of models that are going to catch up to the Polestar and Hyundai's EVs pretty soon. If there's one complaint about uh, I have about the uh, the Polestars at the moment is the interior. I think they could work a, m a little bit more on the interior. They definitely have this iPad stuck on the dash, glued to the dash feel, and it doesn't feel integrated as, for example, the XC40 Recharge and the C40 Recharge. I love that type of interior, and I wish we could have more of that into the Polestar brand as well. Not have it be so clinical. I want to have more details inside that you can tell have been sculpted by the shape of, uh, by the hand of a designer instead of just engineered and put into different places of the interior, if that makes sense. But other than that, really excited to see what Polestar has in store and definitely excited to see the production version of the Polestar uh, 6. I think it's going to look pretty much exactly like the Polestar 02 concept and I'm really happy about that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.